Guys, we're here in San Francisco Botes. Helon just brought us back. Ah, uh, yes, he's right Helon here. Helon just brought Helon. us back. Helon over here. And. Look for Pelon. The bus is gone. Give me five, give me five. Give me five. One beer. One beer. I yes, just put my money for beer now. I have to see where I get home. <laughs> I will see how I reach my house now. The bus is gone. Mexico over there. Belize here. Bus gone. They say there's no more bus coming till 5 p.m. and bus to Orange Rock. No more. So we are in Shit Creek. Yeah. We have to see how we hitchhike back to Orange Rock Town here from Santa Cruz Orange Rock. Oh my god. It's a 45 minute bus ride. There's no way we can walk it because it's hot. It's uphill through the jungle. Wow. This is going to be interesting. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, guys? Thick jungle. Full of jaguars and tarantulas. Boa constrictors. And we came from over there, across the river, in another country. We are back in Belize. And then, um, it's very slow over there. We heard two stories. We heard one story is that the authorities on this side are very getting very strict and hassling people. Oh yeah, Tarzan's tree. Yeah, that's One story is that the authorities here in Belize are getting very strict. And so people are taking the chance of going over the border. The other story is, which I believe, that it's gotten very expensive on the Mexican side. Okay, we had two shrimp cocktails. Big ones, but only two. And we had four Corona beers. And it came up to $75 Belize. That, let me tell you friends, is expensive. That is not cheap. Here are more boats that go over the river. Some of these are old boats from the olden days. You used to catch the boat here and you go down that trail and you come out in the village. But now they built this huge parking lot there and it's a little easier. I actually liked going this route Okay, be weaving through the trees and in this little creek. It would be so interesting. But I think they could be right. That's why people are not coming here so much anymore. We kept for two big shrimp cocktails and four Corona beers. $75 US, that would be 35, 37, 50, 35 dollars, 75, ah, 75 dollars Belize would be 37.50 US. That is a lot of money. For Belizean, a lot of money. So maybe that's why they're killing their own business, charging those high prices. I mean, it's Mexico. Things are a lot cheaper in Mexico. Here we are in the village of Santa Cruz we're gonna walk to the entrance of the village then we're gonna stick our thumb out these have a restaurant bar up there no longer exists nice little building that make a nice house to live in there we go across the river shopping I think the grocery prices are still the same they told me people go grocery shopping but they just go over the river, 
they go to the shopping and then take the boat right back they don't hang around they don't hang around and drink and party like they used to do before so I wonder how far we're gonna have to walk before somebody picks us up and gives us a ride at least to the next village and then from there we gotta try again look at the geese I hope they don't attack me the geese are worse than dogs uh oh don't look at me do not look at me do not mess with me I don't feel like running <laughs> I survived a ge goose attack oh man how are we gonna get out of here Santa Cruz government school I think the name of this video is lost lost in a Mexican village oh no we're not in Mexico we're in Belize lost in the Belizean village I think that's the name of this video lost in a Belizean video ah. lost in a Belizean village I think that'll be the title of this video oh man I hope someone come back here and gives us a ride but it don't look good it don't look good at all this looks like the school yeah, that's a school. Wow. Little, little school. This is the community center, Santa Cruz Community Center. Yeah, we should have brought those beers from Mexico. We got no beers, no Cokes, no water. We are 45 minutes away from Orange Rock Town by bus and we got no way of getting there besides walking or somebody gives us a hitchhike oh man I hope it goes good pretty house yeah we gotta keep on we gotta keep on walking though until we get like to the edge of the village yeah we gotta keep walking till we get to the edge of the village and see what happens because you know somebody might up there somebody might leave towards orange rock and if we're in here they won't see us but if we're on the outskirts of the village they will see us and hopefully pick us up help we're lost in a Belizean village There's a little group. No, I don't want no beer. No. Coke, yeah. Coke Zero if they have a regular. I definitely don't want to drink beer and be 45 minutes by road without a vehicle. I'll have a cold Coke. Cold Coke instead. Because, good thing, it's the last, probably the last grocery store on the road. True? You going to Orange Rock too? Yeah, oh. So we're going to get a ride, Drew? Yeah. So he's going to Orange Rock too, so um, he knows how to get out of here. Otherwise... Yeah, yeah, the bus left way. Okay, so since he um, he's from around here, I think, he knows what to do so he says just walk he says and we'll we'll, we'll get a ride he says it, in other words hitchhike right yeah so here he is with where are you maria como se llama chamaco jose so jose se quedó fue con nosotros he will teach us how to survive ya te ha pasado antes ya te ha pasado antes que vos se dejo dos dos veces okay he says he's an expert he's an expert he says the bus has abandoned yeah 
<laughs> the bus has abandoned him two times before. This is number three. Oh. He slept here. Oh, that's not good. He slept here one night. Oh, man. Hay extra macas. Hay extra macas en tu casa. Hey. Hay extra macas en tu casa. 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 She got extra hammocks in her house just in case we can't get out because he said he'd been stuck here twice before and he slept here once so not good well guys I think we'll get a ride there's a car coming in so if unless he lives here he's gonna have to go out so somebody will give us a ride we'll keep you tuned guys don't go away the adventure continues Guys, so we are stuck here in a Belizean village near the Mexican border. As you saw, we stopped at that grocery store. I got a Coke Zero. I'm surprised it had Coke Zero. Maria, where are you, Maria? Got water. And uh, we have a new musketeer here, Jose. The bus left him also. So it's the three of us now. The three of us now. We bought him a Fanta, we bought him a bag of chips because he says he's hungry. He says it's his second, this is his third time he got stranded here. He one, time, one time, one time he slept here. Mm -hmm. There two times. And a suelo. No, si, sí, el suelo. <laughs> he says, he <laughs> says. No voy a pasar ese día dos veces. Suelo de una casa o suelo afuera? Afuera, en la calle. Una, una taza ahí, si. Te dejaron dormir adentro. Uh -huh. Casa con gente o casa abandonada? Bueno, nada, no había nada, gente. Oh, mm -hmm. ya, yeah, abandoned house. He says, <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> this might be more interesting than you think if this happened. He said the time he was here, he could not get a ride no matter what. He found an abandoned house and he just went to sleep on the floor. I hope this don't happen to us. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. I think they have mosquitoes here at night. Yes, they said at uh, six o'clock you can't stand the mosquitoes. Really? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. So here we go. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. Yeah. The sun is just beating down on us. Yeah. Like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> no, but we gotta go a little further out. I got cokes here. I should have got water, but I love my cokes. So now it's the three musketeers. Hopefully, hopefully this pickup is going somewhere. I can give us a ride. No rides. No rides for you people. No <laughs> rides for you camera, people. Walk. If you have a camera, they'll never stop. <laughs> Especially if they're with the sweetheart, they will not stop. Maybe with the girlfriend, or maybe they're full of smuggled goods. Yeah, you, they, they won't stop. <laughs> if you turn off your camera, then maybe. Guys, well, I'll update you in a little bit. We're still walking. We only been walking about half an hour. Uphill though, uphill. It's and hard. We have one more hill to go. We got one more hill to go. Actually, we started that hill right now. It's going to get higher. We have here shrimp cocktail. Cause we didn't eat it all because then um, they said the bus was going to leave. So we told the waiter, pack it up to go. We're going to go. We're going to run. But we still got to leave. Here comes a vehicle. I gotta turn the camera off. I don't want to scare the drivers of the vehicle. See you in a bit. Bassa just drove past us. You gotta get a flat tire. <laughs> and we're gonna walk past you and we won't help you. Change your tire. You didn't want to give us a ride. What can we do? We gotta walk. Yeah, 45 good. minutes by bus. How long will that take to walk to Orange Rock? Six. Six hours? I don't know. I could Google Maps it, but I don't want to be depressed, so I'd rather not know. If this guy can jog it, we should be able to do it. Hey! Here comes another one jogging. Oh my god. 
Does this mean there are no rides? Does this mean there are no rides? If they're jogging? Olympics! Olympics! That's like in if these If these guys are jogging... Mira, alguien dejó su helmet. Oh yeah, these guys are jogging. That's the winner, Hemet. The winner, Hemet. Look, here's a helmet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's good. All right, I got a helmet. Keep the sun off my head. Found a helmet on the side of the street. Oh, I guess somebody was riding a scooter and it fell. Probably at night. I didn't want to stop to pick oh, it up. Yes, yes, let's look. Maybe there's a phone also. A phone, yeah. <laughs> this is rough. But I do have a helmet. It looks so many building house. So I guess they came from running from this house. I'll be going home for lunch. Yeah, those are amazing here. So cars are coming in. But you see, these are nice cars. So they, when they leave, they will not stop and pick us up. Of course not. It has to be a pickup. It's got to be a pickup. Nice something, fancy car like that won't pick us up. Something beat up here. Yeah, because yeah. we're all sweaty. We're all sweaty. Uh, they probably think we're drunk too. Yeah. So they won't pick us up. And they see us with cameras. Yeah, hide the camera. Hey, what do you guys think about my new, my new hard hat, man? I found it. I bought it for you. Yeah, bought it on the side of the street. Pretty cool. Ah, double insulation for my head. Look, some guys are building a house here. I should steal the motorcycle and go to Orange Rock. <laughs> no, never. Sitting down here. Maybe. Jose says he's tired. He's 14 years old. He works on the Mexican side in Botas. ¿Cuántos días a la semana trabaja en Botas? Oh, oh. Oh, he does catch and kill work. He goes there, looks for a job. They give him a job. He works. He goes back to Yo Creek Village every day. Every day. 14 years old. Ya no va a escuela. He says he graduated from primary school already. Graduaste? Sí, No vas a ir a high school? No, He says he graduated from primary school already. And then um, he's not going to high school, he says, because he can't afford it, so he's just he looking for a job. Food, yeah, he said they can hardly afford food in his house, much less school. So every day he crosses the border, crosses the river, hoping to, have a job. hoping to find a job. And in Mexico, you know, they pay very, very little. What do they pay in Mexico all day? 20 dollars, really, said you? Oh, they give him twenty dollars Belize for a day's work in Mexico. And Belize minimum wage is eight dollars an hour, five dollars an hour, so forty dollars, so half price. Oh, okay. He sweeps and fixes the garbage. He sweeps, takes out the garbage, stuff like that. I guess he goes to little restaurants and stores, asks for job. Sometimes he fix, works in the stores, fixing up chairs, bagging groceries, yeah, bagging groceries, things like that. Twenty dollars Belize a day. Peels, clean, clean the onions. Yeah. For, yeah. No, because they only take off the dry shell. Wow. It's a rough life. Well, guys, we keep walking. 
No, you get it. We got a ride. A pickup stops. He's gonna give us a ride to the next village or Orange Walk or who knows where. Oh, so good. So good. Come on, guys. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. The bus left where you could give me a ride? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Come on this way. Come on this way. They don't let us away. I have to like. Okay. Kill yourself, was I? Give me a hundred rupees. <laughs> he wants us to go in as No, we're good here. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Huh. All right, guys. Yeah. Guys. Okay, do it on the Guys, we got a ride. Did this pickup. The guy flew past us. And then he felt sorry. And he stopped and picked us up. I don't know how far we're going, but we're going. See you. I'll give you an update in a little while. So guys, Jose here says there are too many holes on this road. I say, so what, do you want to get out of one? He said, no, no, it's okay. Right? Yeah. It's a bumpy ass road, but much better than walking, right? Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah, within 30 minutes we'll be home. Belizean border side village. Uh -huh. Okay, we're getting to another village now. I think this is San Antonio. This is San Antonio village. San Antonio village. Yeah, don't forget the phone, I think. He's, he's sitting there with his phone hanging in his hand, hanging over the edge of the pickup. If he drops that, it's good by phone. At $20 to leave a day, he's gonna have to work a long time to run you. 20 minutes a day, yeah. and that's not every day. Wow. On the road again. Going home from a trip to Botis again. Drank some expensive Corona and shrimp cocktail again. We're going on the road again. This guy here, he saw us walking, hitchhiking from both the Santa Cruz area and he stopped in his pickup. What's your name? Luis. Luis saved our life because we would have died in the hot sun. Thank you very much. I owe you anything? Yes, what do you All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're going to be on. On and YouTube. Yes, it's the name, this name of my channel, Get your, your Thank you very, very much. What yeah. we would, what would we have done without them in this heat? And we got here like rapidito, like that, quick thing. Thank you, thank you. Huh? Oh yeah, the food is here. Let me grab the food. Put on my hat. And my new hat. I've got a shrimp cocktail here. We're gonna sit here in the shade a little bit and cool off. Mary encontré ese hard hat. No got it. En la orilla de la calle. Este aquí. Ajá. No got it for part of the video. Será que pasa por aquí el bus, no verdad? No, para dónde va esa. Guys, much thanks to Luis who brought us in his pickup here. Much thanks to him. Gracias Luis para traernos desde Santa Cruz a Orange Rock. Thank you Luis, bring us all the way from Santa Cruz village where we're hitchhiking all the way to Orange Rock. We would have died in the heat. Well, we wouldn't have died, but it, it, it was rough. It was hot. It was hot and it would have taken us hours to walk. So I thank you very much. Yeah. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you. I hope you enjoyed the adventure because we we actually enjoyed it. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> One of the stupid things we do in life. He, he actually offered to go for me to go inside. I told him no, it's okay. Yeah, he said we could sit inside. We said no, we we sit outside. We we, we can rough it. Yeah, he's with his <laughs> so he it was a good, funny adventure. We loved it. I hope you love it too. Leave us a comment, give us a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. On the road to 100,000. Until next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching, and bye bye. Still here, <laughs> going to, to the grocery store, get some water, uh, where you Maria wants to wash her face. I want a Coke Zero. Uh, Jose is still with us. Jose lives in your Creek, but he says, I'm going to Orange Walk too, just to spend the day and walk around. <laughs> I think he likes, I think he likes hanging out with us. <laughs> I think he likes hanging out with us. So here we are in Orange Walk. Town. <laughs> what a bunch. Yeah, Jose, he hanging out there. I told him, man, working for 20 bucks a day, start your YouTube channel. Within five years, if it takes off, you won't have to work for 20 bucks a day for people. You'll be your own boss. Loud music. I gotta turn the camera off. coconut wow two waters and I got myself a Dr. Pepper coconut cream I've never heard about it before in my life I'm gonna try that out it's got sugar in it but what the heck orange walk welcome to orange walk I hope you guys enjoy this adventure now I'm really gone see ya bye bye